Luke chapter 4, verse 4. And Jesus answered him, saying, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. What? And Jesus answered him, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone. Where did by every word of God go? What's going on? I better not look up another one. Romans chapter 16, verse 24. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Where did verse 24 go? Verse 23, verse 25. What happened? What? Where did my verse go? This can't be happening. I have to look up another verse. 1 Corinthians 1.18 the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved is the power of God. What? For the word of the cross is folly to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God? That's not what my King James Bible says. What's happening? I have to find out. I have to look over in Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 9. And to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery, which from the beginning of the world hath been hid in God, who created all things by Jesus Christ. What? It happened again. And to bring to light for everyone what is the plan of the mystery, hidden for ages in God who created all things. They took out by Jesus Christ. Why? Who would be so despicable as to change the word of God? Verse 14. For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. For this reason I bow my knees before the Father? Where did they take out of our Lord Jesus Christ? Who's doing this? I can't believe it to find out. Colossians chapter 3 verse 6. For which things sake the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience. What? On account of these the wrath of God is coming? They took out on the children of disobedience. This can't be right. 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 5. This verse condemns who's doing this. Perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds and destitute of the truth, supposing that gain is godliness. From such, withdraw thyself. Not again. In constant friction among people who are depraved in mind and depra deprived of the truth, imagining that godliness is a means of gain. Why doesn't it say from such withdraw thyself? I don't understand. Who would change the Holy Word of God, the King James Bible? Who would change something like this? Wait a second. I know who it would be. It's CERN. CERN. They're the ones that are doing it. Yes, that's right. CERN. C-E-R-N. Catholics and Evangelicals relying on the Nestles. You don't believe me, do you? Right here is the Nestle's text. Here it is, you can see it. The 27th edition. I can prove it to you. The text shared by these two editions was adopted internationally by Bible societies and following an agreement between the Vatican and the United Bible Societies. It has served as the basis for new translations and for revisions made under their supervision. There's the proof. The Catholics and Evangelicals are working together. On the board of editors, Carlo Martini is a Jesuit working with supposed Evangelicals to create these new versions, to change the King James Bible. CERN is behind it, in other words. And if that isn't enough proof for you, how about this? Vatican Council II. Page 112, 
But since the word of God must be readily available at all times, the church, with motherly concern, sees to it that suitable and correct translations are made into various languages, especially from the original texts of the sacred books. If when the opportunity presents itself and the authorities of the church agree, these trans translations are made jointly with churches separated from us, they can then be used by all Christians. It is CERN, the Catholics and Evangelicals, relying on the Nestle's text. CERN is behind the perversion of the King James Bible. I want to show you one other thing. I openly showed you two different sources where the Catholic Church admits that they are joining with Evangelicals to change the text of the King James Bible. And it's interesting too, here you have the CERN Courier and they, the statue of the Indian deity Shiva at CERN was unveiled by His Excellency, these people here. So they're putting up pagan goddesses and stuff like this. And it's just totally, completely satanic. So the, the real CERN uh, is definitely a satanic organization. Where did that come from?